Yesterday, uh, Senator, I think she's called Dorcas, uh, went to Senate with a stain. And uh, of course, I'm sure it was not a real stain. And a lot of people have been bashing her with some people encouraging her or cheering her on. I want to categorically state that I'm one of the people who are cheering her on. Some people may find the method that she used distasteful, but it is because it is distasteful that we are actually talking about it. There is something that we call uh, uh, period shame. And that is that you find our lo a lot of our young girls that when they have period, they are shamed, uh, they are ridiculed, and so many of them either don't go to school or um, are affected psychologically because of that period shaming. And I think a lot of things that have to do with women's reproductive issues are usually treated in the same manner. If you are in your uh, reproductive age, you are shamed for having periods. If you are menopausal, you are shamed for having hot flashes. You never get away with anything as a woman. And so me, I am very, very happy uh, that she actually did that and that she was able you know, to present that in uh, Senate. She's actually bringing a bill, uh, sorry, a motion to discuss about uh, sanitary uh, towels uh, and that they should be uh, given to girls free and want to encourage that even in this budget, even as we are doing budgetary cuts, one of the things that we must provide for is the issue of sanitary towels and pads for young girls. Somebody tried to, you know, I'm, I'm sorry to give that example, I was in some WhatsApp group and somebody was trying to uh, compare that to men getting uh, men getting erections and they are saying that sometimes we get erections and we don't go to the Senate to do such things. That is fairly voluntary. My having periods is not voluntary. I don't decide today I'm having, tomorrow I'm not having. And uh, so really we, it, there is no comparison. You can't use it, you can't compare it with anything. Perhaps the only thing you can compare it for men that I know is the breaking of the voice which is not negative. So a man can't say that oh, from now on I'll be speaking with a small voice. Unless you are of course naturally born with a small voice.